extended periods of dry weather that we had over the summer, and then you just get those occasional heavy rain showers, then those are ideal for these blister beetles to thrive. Oklahoma State University Extension Specialist Kelly Sees identifies four different types of blister beetles normally seen in Oklahoma. The one they are most concerned about is the striped blister beetle because it has the highest concentration of a defensive toxic chemical in their system. The beetles tend to swarm and congregate into small areas, which means that a hay bale can be filled with them when alfalfa is cut. One issue is the toxin persists even if the beetles die. If a horse eats a large number of them, they can get sores and blisters in their mouths, suffer from dehydration, an elevated heart rate, diarrhea, frequent urination, and even death. Now, cattle and goats, uh, they can also have issues, but it's mainly horses that tend to be impacted the most. And one of the best ways to guard against this is to examine the hay before it gets baled to look for high concentrations of those blister beetles because they tend to swarm together in big congregations. <laughs>